Hello everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley and we are here with our little farmer who is currently snoozing away. Let's get her out of bed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We've got our little house. Oh, ah, yes. I can get a little fire going in here. Oh, that is so cool. But yeah, she was snoozing in bed and as you guys can hear, it is actually raining outside so it is our very first rainy day look at how our little farm is already taking shape and oh my goodness we've got those mystery seeds growing i really 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 love cutting down all of the grass and then finding mystery seeds that is definitely a really fun thing to do i can't wait to do some more of that but since it is raining today i think today is going to be the day that we'll take advantage of the rain to do a little bit of gathering of wood but also to go down and to visit the ranch and then try to figure out where we can start exploring the wilds, just kind of going off into the forest, hopefully being able to gather up a lot of wood, hopefully being able to gather up some of the other resources. I'm very excited about that. All right, let's come down here though. Let's clear these things out of the way. Grr, 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 grr. We got a little bit of money again last night from selling some of the materials and resources we've run into. And I don't know about you guys, but I am so so enjoying the Stardew Valley special that we're doing right now. Trying to share lots and lots of Stardew Valley with you guys and exploring everything. Come on, you can you can do it. In fact, I think if we want to go south, we actually have to make a path. Like, we could go the long way, um, but we could make a path just down through our farm. So let's try to make a path down through our farm so that we can get to, like, the southern entrance. Because it looks like there's a southern entrance that we can go and be able to reach the ranch too so this might take a little bit of work to get to it though but that's okay because we needed to gather up tons of this wood anyway and the ranch doesn't even open till nine so we're just showing everybody that we're willing to kind of uh roll up our sleeves and work hard even though oh yes we got another mixed seed i love it oh there's a frog more mixed seeds yes but yeah we're just showing everybody that we're willing to work hard even though we were working like in that little computer cubicle office before we got out here. All right, let's go ahead and more mixed seeds. Come on, mixed seeds. Surprise me. Nope, no mixed seeds, that's okay. We're almost up to 50 wood though, which is a really, really, really good thing. All right, let's get these out of the way. More of these out of the way. And let's see, I'm gonna need the pickaxe. There we go. We'll get that out of the way. And then let's go ahead there. We almost have enough for a little chest, you guys. Okay, um, definitely gonna need more pickaxe action going on here. All right. Oh, it's very peaceful. And you know, I actually really love spending more time on the farm than I do like out in the town because it's just nice to see our little farm and just to know we'll be able to really, I wonder if you can have bees. Do you guys know if you can have like apiaries that you could grow or raise, I guess it would be the right term. But I really love being out in nature a lot more than being out in the town. Especially because some of the townspeople, I mean, they're they're pretty welcoming, but they're also, like, very laid back. Alright, what's this? I'm running up against something. Nope. Nothing there. Alright, almost have enough wood, which is fantastic. Oh, I can actually run right along the edges. That's so cool. Alright, there we go. Now we have enough wood. And we're at the southern entrance. Oh my gosh, and those logs are huge! Alright, so what's going on down here? Farm and Pelican Town. <gasps> Look, I think we can start exploring. Oh, there's so many wild things we could get up to. Oh, and look at this ranch. Oh my gosh, look at those cows. <laughs> look at those little cows. Is this like the cow, like, part? Is this just like the cow barn? Oh, here we go. Okay. So we can purchase animals. How much would it be to purchase animals? We would have to construct a coop. We would have to construct a big barn or barn deluxe coop what can we get with the deluxe coop we can build a deluxe coop oh my gosh there's like multiple birds i think there's multiple animals oh my goodness hello hi siri you look like you're soaked poor thing hello marnie good to see you who's this little one who's coming down here oh is this jess hi oh and she's really shy that's so cute it looks like look at her bedroom this child has, like, the biggest bedroom ever. Oh, my goodness. This is quite amazing. All right. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's the mayor. He's visiting over here, too. I'm just here to make sure all of Mar Marnie's business needs are met. Wow, that is so cool that we can find him, like, all over town visiting with everybody. 
Oh, that is so neat. Mr. Mayor, I really... that the Props off to you. Look at their little farm area. This doesn't look that safe. I mean, it looks like they just have a bunch of hay and everything next to their fireplace. Like, the whole place could just go up any second. All right. So, that's Marnie. And if we come over here... What does this say? The Cinder Sap Forest and Pelican Town. Hello, Mr. Cow. How are you? I hope you're doing well. All right, what's down here? Whose house is this? Hello? It's locked. Only Alea's friends can enter uninvited. Oh, do we know her yet? Let's see. Let's see. We met Sam, who's single. What was that? Was that like a frog? Maru, who's single. Let's see. Jazz, who's the little kid we just met. Abigail is single. I don't know. Yeah, we must have met. Oh, this is Leia right here. So Abigail is single. We must have met her. So we've almost met everybody, I think. There's just a few people left. It looks like that's a postman. Is that a frog? Can we, like, catch a frog over here? I hear something. All right, let's see if we can catch a fish over here. It's a good day for fishing. Good rainy day for fishing. And if we can catch a catfish, that would be fantastic. All right. We need to get 2,000, like... Oh, 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 did I not, did I not do it good enough? Oh, dang it. All right, let's try again. I wonder what it means to do the green bar compared to other bars. I have to wait for the hit, I think. Oh, is that too soon? Okay. The max. All right, now I'm going to be patient. Wait till it says hit? Or just wait till the exclamation point. I waited till the exclamation point last time and nothing happened. I think I do need to do it when the exclamation point hits. I'm still learning how to fish. It's a very pretty day, though. All right. All right. I think I have to do it. Exclamation point. Wait for it. What's this? Soggy newspaper! <laughs> what? So this is trash. So basically you would take the trash and... Oh, gosh. Where's the... Ah, oh, there it is. Take trash and just put it, like, right in the trash like that. Okay. Noted. I wonder what that noise I keep hearing is. Well, there's no catfish right here, but I kind of wanted to have my hands free anyway. So that we could do a little bit of exploring. Looks like I would be able to gather up some of the wild materials that we might need over here at the... Was it Cinder something forest? So, yeah, there's lots of stuff over here I can gather up. Alright, so that's going to be pretty good for us. What was that noise? I heard a really creepy noise again. So the forest definitely has some mysteries then. Is this something I can pick up? <gasps> it is! It's a little dandelion! Not the prettiest flowers, but the leaves make a good salad. Can we really eat it? Can I eat it? Eat the dandelion? Is that giving me some energy? It did! It gave me a little energy boost! That is so cool! I love that we can just like forge for wild food like that. Alright, and the dandelion actually didn't give us a, a small amount. It gave us a significant amount of energy, in my opinion. Not nearly as much as eating something, of course, but not terrible either. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of trash and stuff down there. What is over here? I can't even look at, like, repairing this area just yet. So, we need a ton of wood. We might want to go talk with the blacksmith. Oh, what's over here? There's a little abandoned house down here. Hello? Hello? Interesting. Interesting indeed. And here's like a little path to get across. I keep hearing what I think is like a frog or something. Can I try to catch something again? Alright, I'm going to have to try again. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I need to do. Whoops. Oh, no, too high, too high, too high, too high. Oh, no! What is that weird noise? Do you guys hear that? What is going on over here? Okay, come on, fish. I'm gonna get you this time. I need you to rub in an old lady's back if you're a catfish, as weird as that sounds. All right, come on, fishu. Come on, don't be shy. I wanna upgrade, I wonder if I can upgrade to better. Ah, oh, it's another soggy newspaper. I wonder if I can upgrade to um, like better poles as time goes on. You have to be able to do that. What, green algae? What am I going to do with this? It's really slimy. I can eat it. Really? I guess I'm going to eat it because I just need to clear my inventory. But I probably could sell some of these things too. 
All right, well, we're just gonna try a couple more times for the fish and then we'll head back home. And I wanna build the chest inside of the house. And we should visit the carpenter and the blacksmith at some point. I, 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 I see you, Mr. Fish. Oh my gosh, what's that? What's that? What was that? Oh, I got too distracted. Was that like, was that seriously like some sort of treasure chest we could get too? And I just totally biffed it. Oh no. All right, come on fish. Come on fish, come on fish. Hey, 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 hey. Why wasn't he, but he wasn't the one moving. No, wrong way. What are you doing? No, little, little Siri, you're facing the wrong direction. Come on, your last fish. Come on. And then we'll go plant these mixed seeds. It's gonna get really dark soon. I like the fishing though. Fishing in games like these is one of my favorite things to do. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's really fighting us. It's really fighting us. We caught a bream. Oh, we, we actually get like a little records. We get records for things. Where am I keeping records for things? How am I increasing my fishing? I'm still a newcomer. Oh my gosh, there's all this stuff here for items shipped. So bream, number caught, biggest catch, 19 inches. And then algae and how much stuff, it, how much like money it can sell for. Artifacts, oh my gosh, minerals, cooking, achievements, items shipped. We've shipped some clay and some fiber. That's like most of the items we've shipped so far. Greenhorn, so many different things. 300 of one crop, 15 of each crop. Oh, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff to do. All right, well now that we're out of room and we have a fairly common river fish that becomes active at night, we have to run all the way back up. So there's, a, I saw a dandelion down there, but we won't be able to reach it. Oh, there was a frog. I wonder if I can catch the frogs at some point. That would be amazing. All right, and we're just gonna casually come over. I can get this stuff out of the way. There's another little frog. Did you guys see him? So cool. I'm gonna casually collect this little bit and then we're gonna go back up to our place. So I'm really glad to know that Cinder Pelt, I think it was, was that the name of the forest? Let's see, it doesn't say. And does it have it on my map now that we've been over here? Wow, we really wandered down quite a ways. Okay, so we kind of wandered along this line. Got it, got it. There's still quite a bit of the village that we haven't explored yet. All right, let's go ahead and keep our scythe going. I need to get used to using the hotkeys on that so we can go a little faster. All right, up we go. Up we go, maybe collect some of this. And I can see about, see about being able to make anything, craft anything with it. And keep moving, keep moving. Let's make a little area where we can get some more of our little mystery crop planted. In fact, we should probably start planting some like actual crops again. There's that weird sound again. What's going on? All right, and then here are our mystery seeds planted. How do I get this thing out of the way? What do I do with you, buddy? Are you are you just gonna stay there forever? Oh, it moved! I got the little tree out of the way. Okay, so I know I can do that. All right, and anything to sell. Let's sell the bream, our, our record-holding bream, and let's sell the fiber, maybe? Well, let's keep it for just a second to see if I can craft anything with it. Um, let's see, let's craft the chest that I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sell, and let's make a campfire to provide a moderate amount of light. And we'll make a campfire. And then maybe a little bit more of a cobblestone path, which now I'm in trouble because now I don't have room for everything and I have to throw something away. What have I done? What have I done? No, oh my gosh, ah, oh, dang it. That's what I get. That's what I get for not being careful enough, but let's go ahead and just sell this. Um, and I kind of want to keep the other stuff though. So let's put this path down. And there we go. We've got a little, little nice decorative path that's starting to work its way through. Why can't I put it here? Mm hmm? Okay, not near the crops. Got it. Maybe. Who knows? Interesting. Oh, I think it has to like be carefully connected to some of it. Okay. Um, oh, you just have to be like in the right spot. I got it now. There we go. So we're kind of spreading our little cobblestone path around. And the campfire, I kind of want to put the campfire like over here. 
Oh my gosh, look how cool that is. Wow, that is so useful. Can we pick that back up? Is that something I can like move around? Um, where's my campfire? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it is something we can move around. All right, well, that is really cool, you guys. So let's go ahead and turn on there. <laughs> There we go. We've accomplished a lot today, if you ask me. Let's put the little chest maybe down here by our bed. Okay, I need to move the rug then. Rug, you move over here. Chest, I'm gonna put you like right here. Can I put can I put you there? Can I put you there we go. There. Alright, so we can put the stone. We so we can put some of these things away. Very nice. Okay. So we are definitely learning a little bit more about how we can organize and take care of our farm. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. We're going to sleep for the night. Let's see if we've made anything. Yay, we made a little money off the fish. So we made like a tiny little bit of money. And I think we're going to do a teeny bit more exploring today. I hear you, Mr. Rooster. Alright, so now we're up to 300. Let's see. And weather forecast for tomorrow is a beautiful sunny day. And living off the land? Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Ooh, we should check for spring onion. All right, so look at our little beans grow, you guys. Things are going great over here. The beans are growing. We've got the mystery plants growing. I have no idea what the mystery plants are going to turn out to be, which is really fun. And I think today we should probably go get some of the longer growing, like the plants that take longer to grow. We should probably go get some of those. Oh, and I need some more water. So let's walk down our little path. I kind of want to use some of our stone to make like a little stone path right down here. All right, and even put like flowers, more flowers over here. So we might go into town and get more seeds, but I do want to do a little more exploring. Hey, come on. That's better. I think what we need to do to potentially finish up the day is to go say hello to the blacksmith at some point. Hmm. But you know what? Let's go look for spring onions first. <laughs> and then next time we can go and visit with the blacksmith so we can see the things that we might need in order to take good care of our town. All right, so let's keep moving. Also, we might do a little bit more fishing. So, yeah, we might do some more fishing. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hello, little butterflies. But yeah, a little bit more fishing. Oh, what are those? What on earth is going on up here? Do you guys see what I, what I see? All right, let's get over here. What are these things? What on earth are these things? Can I, can I like, dig them up? Interesting. I think I have some things growing over here. I just destroyed something without meaning to, so I'm not going to mess with it anymore. But that is pretty cool, so, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna clear up some of those rocks from the back field, and we will use them to make some wonderful little paths. And let's see if we can find some spring onion. Forging around for spring onions, that's our goal. So southwest where the river meets the sea. So down along along here, perhaps. So let's go look down there. In fact, it looks like there's a whole little area totally meant to be explored for forging. So let's go let's go do a little of that for this morning. And then next time we'll be able to go and visit with the blacksmith. I'm so excited, you guys. I really cannot wait. All right, let's walk down here. I really cannot wait until we are able to afford the bigger rucksack too. That's gonna be so useful. Look, 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 here's some dandelions. Oh, we've got dandelions. Oh, there's so many to gather. What else can we find? Hello, everybody. What's all oh, the butterflies? Oh, and the music, it's so cheerful. All right, anything else that we can manage to find? Unpredictable little forging spots, what's this? It's a little rock, I think? Is, that, is it the kind of rock I, I like pickaxe at? No? Hmm, interesting. It's like, they look like pieces of things, almost. Do I dig them up? No? Interesting. All right, well, we'll have to look into that. Oh, look, 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 look. Are these the spring onions? <gasps> They're the spring onions! There we go. So we are finding some wild spring onions that grow here during the spring. So that is pretty fun. 
We'll go ahead and gather up the ones that we just found. And there we go, you guys. So we are exploring around the beautiful Stardew Valley. I'm very happy with where we have run by in Cindersap Forest. And next time, we're going to pop over and we're going to visit the blacksmith. And we're going to see what he is doing, what he's up to. And I think we might even go up and we might visit the mart. And we might even try to come up to the community center or even go further and go up to the carpenter shop just so we can get an idea over what a coop might cost us because I would love to have some chickens. But all right, you guys, I hope you are enjoying this. I am absolutely in love with Stardew Valley and I can't wait to bring our farm and the community to life with you. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.